Hi, welcome to the Warhammies. Today we're going to be covering how to build a resin model. Now the reason we're covering this is because Grey Knights still have a few resin models in their arsenal. We've got Cowdor Drago, Brother Captain Stern as we've got in front of you here, and the Tech Marine if you can get an original one. These models won't look to be replaced until some point in 10th edition when we get our codex, so for now they're still valid and still worth having a go at painting. What are we going to need to build this resin model? Firstly, we're going to need some model clippers. Then we're going to need a drill. We're also going to need a file and just some super glue. Now you can use things like craft knives to kind of sand down mold lines as with the plastic models. But one additional step we're going to have to do before building anything is we're actually going to need just some Tupperware and an old dirty toothbrush. Now the reason for this is we need to make sure we wash this mini before building it. So for washing our mini, what we're actually going to need is just some lukewarm water and some dish soap. So what I've got here is some lukewarm water in a Tupperware container and some fairy liquid. I'd always recommend just making sure you're wearing gloves or something, even if you're doing anything relating to kind of resin or anything like that. Always better to be on the safe side, especially if you've got sensitive skin. All we're going to need to do with this is just drop it in. But take the time, chill out, and just take a few minutes. Now that the mini's had a little bit of time to soak, what we're going to do is take our old toothbrush and scrub it. Make sure to do this while it's still within the water, because what we want to be doing is kind of working in that soap to help the release agent get off. So just be nice and delicate, because what we don't want to do is you like the pauldron up here, little shoulder shield. We really don't want to be snapping that and making any sort of damage. So just make sure we get a good amount of scrub on there. Remember to do both sides, but just be really careful not to break anything while you're scrubbing. Once we finish scrubbing the mini, all we're going to want to do is just rinse it off in some more lukewarm water to make sure that we've got none of that dish soap left on it before we start cutting it out. Now that we've cleaned our resin mini, all we're going to want to do is just get a bit of kitchen roll and make sure it's nice and dry. Now, you don't want to use a hairdryer to dry this because we're going to use that at a later stage to potentially help remould some of the model. And if we use a little bit too much heat, we're going to start bending the model where we don't want. Just make sure you've dried it as best you can using a bit of kitchen roll. Now you may find, like I have here, some of the model has just broken apart a little bit while we were scrubbing. Now that's absolutely fine. Just be really delicate not to bend and break any other parts. Now I would strongly recommend for any sort of resin model to potentially get some better pliers than the ones I'm using here. These are just the basic Citadel pliers and while they're great for getting the model out of the sprue, it's when we come to deal with some finer points that we'll get onto later in the video that these struggle a little bit. But I'm going to use what we've got and the basic tools that we get for Warhammer. So first things first, I always like to try and separate the sprue in half. Now this is just to prevent any sort of tension from any other parts, like try to separate each part into its own bit. So we've got the tilt shield up here, just get that separated. So we've got the model, the tilt shield, and we're just gonna have to separate the sword and the left arm. So what we're gonna do, one nice little bit here, and another cut, oh, and there we go, it's actually fallen out. So there we go, we've split the model into its four component parts. A really important point to note when cutting the models out of the sprue is that sometimes it's quite difficult to tell in resin models what's supposed to be there and what's not. A prime example of this is on the shoulder pad here. It kind of glues on at a really weird angle. So just be really careful when we're cutting away at bits that we're 100% sure that it's part of the model or not. Easiest way to tell is grab the box art and just have a little look. Try and compare the two and see what's there and what's not. It's not a perfect method but it's a way that helps. So I just thought I'd show you an example where we're gonna to have to be really careful about disconnecting parts of the sprue. Now one way method we can go about this is rather than going all the way down, we can just kind of work our way around and snap off and get rid of the main mold. We just go all the way around like so. We're not putting any tension on the model or any parts to get them to bend. And now what we're left with is a slightly easier thing to work with where we can get our foot pliers in here just to trim. Now don't bend and snap too much, as that we're going to go back over with the file to make sure that we can get things nice and smooth. Just continue until you've got the parts in a good sort of state. So now that we've separated the mini into its four parts, what we're going to have a look at now 
is just making sure this model is cleaned up before we glue it all together and potentially do a little bit of adjustment of getting the parts bent to the right shapes. Having a look at this model, if it's your first time working with resin models, these can look quite daunting. But in reality, all we're going to want to be doing is you can see little kind of like triangles underneath here and here. We're just going to want to go around the whole miniature and make sure those have been removed and sanded down. Once you've got as many bits off as you can, as you feel comfortable with without damaging the model, we're going to just switch to using the file. Now, a prime example of what we've got on the bottom here, you can see these sort of mold lines. What we're going to want to do is just run it along, smooth them down, and if you get to the stage where you think actually using the clippers might be useful again, just switch back to them and then just trim off any excess. So, once we're fully happy with the mini, what we're going to want to do is glue it together. Now it's really important that we use super glue during this phase because normal plastic glue won't work on resin models. You can pick up any sort of super glue. I'm just using a bit of Gorilla Glue which I picked up on Amazon for relatively cheap. One part we haven't had to cover in this video is actually what to do if we need to adjust a resin model. Now this is a really quick and easy thing to fix and what we need to do is literally just grab a hairdryer and put it on a low heat and heat the part you want to bend back into shape. Now it's really, really important not to overheat the part and not to do too high temperature. You've got to remember these pieces are quite brittle and could break relatively easily. But once it's warm, it should be able to be flexed back into the position you want it. And there we go. We've finished the resin model of Brother Captain Stern. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's taught you how to do something new. If you can get your hands on one of these models, I'd strongly recommend it as the resin models most likely won't be replaced until the Grey Knights Codex in 10th edition, and that's potentially coming in 2025. These are quite classic models to get, and I think they look really cool. Have a good day, and happy hobbying.